Ritter here. So, um, quick story. I'm not sure if you guys know, but um, I blew up my uh, my beloved D6 Pro, my Hoda D6 Pro charger the other day at the racetrack. I was disconnecting the battery. I thought I'd stop the charge first. I did not. These contacts get together. Uh, we had the sweet smell of cap capacitors blowing up, whatever that is, you know. Um, so, I'm without my little charger. I was gonna get the same thing again, but that thought seemed pretty silly. I know they have the D6 Pro, which is the bigger one. It's a few more watts, but doesn't have the charger on top, and it doesn't have the scroll wheel, which I really like the scroll wheel. Um, I like the charger on top, but I could deal with that. that. Um, and I didn't know if I needed actually more watts. I can only charge at 10 amps at the track. I haven't really felt limited by this in watts was, amps was, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, my, and I really kind of wanted to uh, try something new. So this one, is, uh, what caught my attention was um, dual output drag wheel. Also has uh, regen charging. So I'll, if I come back from the racetrack and I have um, a bunch of batteries at 90, 80%, 70%, I can dump all those things at storage charge um, into a big 4 hours battery. And I could charge my FPV batteries off that one. Um, so this way, all I know after a day of playing with the batteries, I can get put them all in storage charge and dump them in here and something nice. Because um, usually the discharge takes forever. The fan's running all day long. And it's a pain in the ass. Um, this is pretty fast. So, so right now I've been charging this one up here off of this one just to demo. So what are we at here? Um, 76%, 4.8, and this is at 17%. So let's flip the script here. So we're going to reach and charge now. I had to turn that beeps off. It was so loud. So, um, so high volt. Go down 3.85. Start task at 10 amps. So it's gonna start sucking from here, pop it into here. No fans going, it's nice and quiet. Now the fan will kick on every once in a while. Um, it usually comes on for like 30 seconds and turns right off. It's not crazy loud. This one just runs low key all the time. And you just kind of forget about it's playing, but you just end up like turning everything up really loud and it's like, what's going on? And then you turn this off, like, oh, <laughs> I'm not going deaf. It's just, this thing's just running in the background. I'm just not like noise, not realizing it. So this is nice and quiet. Oh, there it goes. So that fan there is still quieter than this fan that comes with the power supply that I bought with this one. 24 volt power supply, 400 watts, so plenty of juice. Um, a lot more, that was only 200 watts. Um, so there's a lot more power in this. More than I need, I'm sure. Um, but yeah. P6 charge is pretty cool. I think we're still gonna get another one of these because it's just nice to have the AC adapter here in one little unit. Um, but I think everyone needs an AC adapter and a, just a DC adapter. So I think it's a nice little pair. So I mean, it's going pretty fast. So it's probably the fan switch on. It's cooking, right? I would set it 10 amps, I think. I should turn that down. That's my watch, right? Nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. It's crazy watching the voltages go up and down and stuff. Anyway, 
Uh, so that's the P66 uh, charger. Looks really nice. I'm pretty happy purchased. Um, nice high quality piece. Feels good. Dual outputs. Um, update the firmware here. Uh, connect here. Go to the Hoda website. Download the loader. Download the firmware. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, instructions came with the manual. So this was on sale for like 70 bucks. This was on sale for like 35 bucks. This was 120 bucks. So about the same. Um, if I was like a first into, first into RC stuff, I'd probably just get this. Um, but it is nice to have the flexibility with this. So, I mean, honestly, you'll eventually end up probably with all three of these. <laughs> I think that works for me. Uh, Alright guys, hope this helps somebody to make a decision, because I have not seen any videos about this, in English anyway. Um, but so yeah, nice high quality piece. This scroll wheel is a little nicer, I gotta say. It's got a little better feel. But, um, and that button might be a little bit nicer than this one is. Otherwise, it's a nice high quality piece here. Um, about feet there. Hmm. All right. Hope this helps somebody. Anyone? I don't know. I wish I saw it. All right. Peace.